The Oneida Reservation is located in northeastern Wisconsin, the frozen tundra, where winter temps can go as low as minus 20 below zero for as long as 30 consecutive days. The growing season is very limited. The Oneida Nation received a farm to school grant from the USDA for a project to improve local access to healthy foods for the school. The grant was designed to implement an aquaponics system that would produce and provide fresh greens year-round for the school. The system was new to the Oneida Nation and various people were involved in assembling the greenhouse. Tony Kuchma, project manager, describes the development of the greenhouse. So in order to get it built, um, we, we did have to rely on a lot of uh, our, our own uh, internal departments within the Oneida Nation. And so uh, DPW was, was huge in, in helping um, get it to where we see it today. Um, Oneida Conservation Crew, they help actually build the structure. Um, Oneida Veterans, you know, it's, it's right on their property. Um, even outside help with uh, uh, NWTC, their sustainable agriculture program. Uh, some students uh, helped build the actual aquaponics system. Um, uh, Home Depot has a program that assists veterans and they came out and helped assemble it. Um, you know, so it was a real team effort, uh, internal and external, to get it done. The team met many challenges during the development process, especially when the next winter rolled in. However, the team prevailed. The system is housed at the Oneida Veterans Building. Carrie Metoxen, head of the Veterans Services, tells us how the system came to be set up here. Uh, the system happened because um, Joni Buckley uh, had asked us if we would be interested, if the veterans would be, the veterans community would be interested in supporting this kind of a project. Sure, we said, yeah, we'll do it. It would also be used as an educational tool for the Oneida Tribal School students, who would be given the opportunity to work and see firsthand how it operates. When we walk inside the system, we see that it is about 1,400 square feet and is large enough to grow 6,000 heads of lettuce and 800 pounds of tilapia. Christy Krenke, a student at Northeastern Wisconsin Technical College in the Agricultural Science Program, describes her part with the project. I'm in charge of doing some daily operations here at the aquaponics, um, maintaining water, water quality for our fish, um, doing some planting and harvesting of the lettuce for the high school, um, kind of just coming in and making sure everything's running how it's supposed to. Christy demonstrates what is needed to grow lettuce and other vegetables. For us to grow lettuce in this system, right now we're cutting our growing times down 10 days from what's recommended on the seed packet. Once we get our system at a full capacity, of plants versus fish ratio, we'll be able to cut our growing times to about a half. Their first harvest came through on September 8th, and the high school food staff came to gather the greens. Jesse Padron, Oneida Nation Food Service Director, offers his insight into the project. One of the uh, programs that we're trying to initiate here is to get our staff involved in, in learning uh, more about the aquaponics uh, project so that they can pass that knowledge along to not only each other but uh, students who are gonna, or we plan to have participate in some of the food service um, uh, programs that we have here in our cafeteria and in our school. In addition, the project will serve the school youth as an educational tool. The seniors will work with Northeastern Wisconsin Technical College for college credit. Valerie Dantoin, professor, talks about the relationship with the college and this project. With the tribe, I knew a couple folks from uh, previously when I had worked at the tribe 20 years ago, and we made some connections, and there was a grant opportunity discussed about a partnership between the tech college and the tribe, and we're, we're trying to strengthen that partnership all the time, and this is a great opportunity to strengthen the partnership using aquaponics. So my hope is that I can use the aquaponics facility at Oneida as a teaching tool. This year the system provided fresh lettuce for the community for their Thanksgiving feast. This is another example of the Oneida Nation's integrated food system. This also demonstrates the five interrelated strategies of building a community with the mindset for healthy foods. Joni Buckley, Internal Services Director, talks about the integration of this project to the food system. So the aquaponics system is another element another asset for the integrated food system. So it's really bringing everything together to start to really show healthy foods throughout 
And as we start to look at healthy foods, it's a way to keep our minds healthy and our bodies healthy. So a good mind, a good heart, and a strong fire. That's what we're about. The aquaponics system demonstrates one of the steps that the United Nation is doing to become food sovereign.